so guys i purchased the new things that is the bearings these are skf original bearings these are 6202 and these are original not fake and this is a original avon seal as you can see and this is the number on the seal is right as i am showing you in the old seal as you as you can see it is let me just turn on the flash the old seal as you can see it is something like um, 12 fs 14 a1 and in this new seal it is 12 fs hw12 so the second 12 means the shaft size but in here it is 14 but no worries i, I have just just means i have during buying i just took the shaft and press fitted the, this part on the shaft and it is fitting very tightly that means it is very much compatible no worries at all so and no worries same fittings exact so i think the shaft size is 12 and um, as you can see what is shaft size mm 12 so this is also i think it's 12 the 14 written here in here i think this is some kind of batch number or code number because this is the oem part and um, the valve is good a little bit dirt in on the valve but no worries i will clean it and it is totally dipped in kerosene oil and i have also purchased a new sea lock just in case the oem sea lock breaks and also i have purchased some new things that is a new fan uh, because this is a junk fan this is totally a junk quality fan because as you can see the blades bent and the second thing of this fan this fan doesn't dissipate good amount of air as compared to this pvc these are safe to use because this fan if started hitting this back cover then it will create a lot of means metal grinding noises and whatever but in regarding this fan this is this have more amount more, more number of blades and this is quite big and this easily fits in this so i should use this inside and the second thing is that you know, this also looks good with this back cover it means this is a plastic fan in modern crumption pumps they are using plastic fan I, I will recommend these fans to be plastic and not to be metal like this because these are total big piece of junk because these do not dissipate air at all and the second thing this you know, this type of things if they corrode or if they uh, form rust on these, these plates because these are metal plates so if they corrode or have become rusted they bend easily and hit the back cover so whatever i have also purchased a new capacitor because i hate this sarda brand capacitor it is totally piece of junk don't use sarda and this is a tip on capacitor i think this is an original capacitor the tech styling is little bit different this time. but i think this is because as, if you if you see here the branding as you can see here the branding the branding pretty much looks original so whatever might be this is only a 40 rupees piece and and also i purchased a top 15 ampere top or always use 15 amp or 5 amp whatever what you use always use a top with the earthing and another thing that i purchased is this three wire uh, three wire cord as you can see if you can if the camera gets a focus so this is a three wire three wire cord so one is red one is blackish type brown i think it's black only and another is green so always use three wire means the wire with the earth and always use three pin plug don't use two pin plug like the previous one because that will burn and this is i think for that reason for that junky plug means for that two pin plug i am showing you just now as you can see the plug it is already melted very badly and don't use this kind of plugs in your pumps because if there is a loose connection in this plug that will uh, be a major cause for a fire or burning of your pump because when there is a loose connection it produces harmonics and all kind of nonsense then what happens your pump gets ruined so in this case it, it's already rewounded so don't use this kind of junk things always use it and this is a two wire thing always use a three wire this cord or if you have don't have any kind of this cord you may use that kind of branded uh, one millimeter wires three three wires so that uh, you can I mean there is an art thing and if you don't have any kind of uh, means if you have only one color of wire, do it no worries because this these kind of pumps or motors don't need color coding because the plug is a stationary part you will not interchange the only during connections you must note which is the earthing which is the phase and which is going to neutral after connecting it everything properly yeah, then it's okay you know no don't need any kind of color coding harness here if you want to um, use another color for the earthing you may do no problem that that is the safest way means the phase and the neutral in same color and earthing in another color that is the safest way if you use loose wires and if you use this kind of wire uh, then already this color coded inside so no worries and always use a good quality wire don't use some rubbish uh, junk available in the market with super cheap price so let's install the motor and uh, everything is now in place so let's install it
so I have totally disassembled the mechanical seal this this was the old mechanical seal and in this these two parts are actually ceramic parts these two rubbing up parts these two are ceramic parts so rest are rubber here and this is the bellow where the branding is, the size is written so this pump don't have any water deflector on the shaft means in the between let's insert this just by tapping it with hammer i know it is a very bad idea to do this but so it is fully now inserted and no bearing slips because this is a branded quality bearing so and there is even hardly any wobble here so this is a reverse way pump that is the wire is coming out from this side
so now the pump is ready so this is the pump let's start it so it is rotating nice and the yeah, air output is also means from this motor the air output is also very good it is behaving like good fan the cooling system is very good as you can feel the air in the microphone so let's run the motor like this for half an hour or so because now the mechanical seal is not engaged here and <coughs> the impeller the load is not there so the motor fan will cool the motor and let it idle for half an hour or so so this is the proof that it is pulling here so let's stop it so i have not connected the earthing because it, my extension cord is only two pin extension cord so there is no body leakage also there is i think very minute body leakage if you get the camera can see means let me just focus it some android devices are very poor in focusing so if the camera can see the lights you know it is barely visible so <clears throat> no big deal because this is only i think 10 volts of leakage not at all 10 volts and this is a very handy pump but the position of the capacitor is very bad that's why you have to grab it like this the capacitor holder obstructs you so you think i think i think must do like this so that i can grab the pump in a proper way and this is a tipcon so let's check the torque so it is very it's almost killing my hand it's very much means the from the previous let me show you from this previous sarda garbage uh, this capacitor is far better with the with respect to the torque it's a have a very high torque so let's run it for half an hour like this let's see the motor temperature is cool because if you put a proper good capacitor the motor will be cool because this kind of motor if it will run on full speed without a capacitor also but it will become hot so always if you if your market have local brand capacitors without any tipcon or capco or a Keltron, whatever might be. Then, uh, if you get this kind of PVC, if you don't get any oil capacitors in your area, I will say the in half HP motors you need uh, only around ten, uh, only around ten micro, ten uh, microfarad. So, if, in your area, if you get some garbage local brand capacitor, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D capacitor, so always try to replace it with two to three year intervals because if if you use a local capacitor, it will get degraded with time and it's ideal to replace the capacitor after 3 to 4 year because it cost only 50 rupees market price so what's a big deal with for when it lasts for around 2 to 3 years 50 rupees is nothing for 2 to 3 years so this is the capacitor so let's run it let's start it so let let it run for a while so this motor is running for a while now as you can see now the bearings are free means uh, during the first time the bearings have a little bit jam in there because of the rubber seals uh, after running for a while it becomes free in every rubber bearing this uh, first time usage problem exist this is not a problem actually this is a property of rubber sealed bearings and these are just garbage dummy bearings i just used those bearings just to hammer the thing out. so here is the top new um, plug local brand this have an led here so let's put it here so the plug is now set as you can see this is a cheap quality plug but the plug itself is not bad it is uh, means the quality of the plug is cheap 
but uh, it is uh, usable and means it is robust generally these pumps are always plugged in their sockets only the switch is only operated so always use a proper uh, good quality switch and ensure that your switch is not getting warm or hot during the operation of the pump or the motor so let's install the rest of the part so here here is the shaft so let's install the mechanical seal so this is the seal this is the mechanical seal as you can see and this is the part which places inside so let's put this part inside and just press it to fit so this is a little bit tricky part but you must fit it properly so let, let me fit it first so one mistake I did all means I have to open the motor again no worries at all so always fix this seal before um, inserting the shaft or the rotor set in this motor because it will make you the easiest way easiest way and when placing this first put the rubber then uh, hand press the ceramic inside and then slowly with this hammer where is the hammer here is the hammer slowly like this just hammer it and ensure that all the sides are entered properly after fit fitment like this as you can see now it is totally in a proper shape and now after fitment what you should do you should just clean the surface using WD-40 or something like that or some kerosene oil in your hand so I, I took some kerosene oil in my hand just wipe the surface because it will make it clean this is a tissue paper that is provided with the seal wipe the surface in a good condition make sure no such visible dirt or dust is there and now you fix it this will be the easiest way another thing when you are uh, tightening this always try to tie these lugs in here using a plier as you can see there are some groups given catch it with a plier and just tighten it before putting on the motor body and before means uh, before putting um, follow my previous steps that I have shown in the video no worries Now as far as you can see I have fixed this in here, uh, it, it is done by just by pressing this mechanical seal. You can press this mechanical seal there, now it is totally locked tight, so let's power it up and see the movement. It is little bit tight because due to lack of water present in the mechanical seal. So we may apply some WD for this purpose because it is not harmful for washers. Little bit and just turn it on. As you can see, it is now free. And regarding the socket, let me show you the plug. This is the plug. The light is well bright. And the fan is circulating wind nicely. So if you feel any I means difficulty in uh, putting this uh, locking this clamp on the shaft just hammer this shaft from the back side because these shafts have a four, four and black side play so if you hammer it the shaft will go totally in the front side and you can easily fix this thing let's fit the impeller so here is the impeller here is the o-ring always check the o-ring the o-ring must be placed here so and the major thing is this this is an impeller ski let me focus it this is an impeller ski, so the impeller ski should be here, as you can see. Let me just zoom it here. The impeller ski should be right here. So just place the impeller ski here and just press it firmly, so that the impeller ski is now in place, as you can see. Now check the impeller. This is a little bit dipped into ocean oil, just to remove dust particles. Just take the impeller, watch the groove, place it on the shaft, match it with the uh, pin and after that this, this mouth side of the impeller will be outer side. So after that, just where is my hammer? Just take the hammer and tap on the impeller. Don't just randomly kill the impeller. Just 
tap on the impeller like this and carefully don't tap too much so that the impeller jams in the by colliding with the back wall so as you can see the impeller is as you can see now the impeller is slightly colliding so what should you do means this is the perfect spot so you should just it's already this tooth is bent i don't know why because i didn't did it so take a screwdriver and just take a take a screwdriver take a plier and just one to two taps very slow taps now the impeller is fine absolute fine with a very slight clearance now just turn it on no sounds no junk effects anything the airflow of the fan is coming from this side the impeller itself don't have any kind of play or something like that in it so this is the final you don't need any kind of lock pin for the impeller because the impeller is already tight in this thing so let's clean the o-ring just a minute now the o-ring is cleaned just take the pump like this just um, take a rag or a tissue whatever might be just clean the edges of where the o-ring sits and you must make sure that this shaft is tight and not lo uh, loose like this because if the shaft is tight then you must know that the uh, mechanical seal is good now just take the o-ring just place it here or another way of placing the o-ring is this is your uh, volute this is called a volute as you can see here just place the o-ring here uh, and you can just fix it so placing the o-ring here is a little bit difficult to fix because it is very slipper and loose here so and don't have like grease and junk rubbish just to fix this thing so take it very smoothly means i will prefer you just to put the rubber first because the impeller and the, the mouth opening is almost the same size that's why it is possible that the impeller's teeth may just scrub the rubber and it destroy it because the rubber is very thin so just put the rubber in a proper way Don't just twist the rubber, otherwise there may be a possibility of water leakage. Just now, just take the top housing and always be sure that this this part, this particular part, the stopping stopper or stopping part, as you can see, this part should be in upwards or in in this words. So let's fix it. So I will prefer it fixing like this because I don't want to destroy the back of and just hammer it in a rotational manner then take the screws just hand tighten one of them or three of them and and last time just hammer the center Check the coil running by the switch. It is sounding horrible. Now it is sounding good because of some dust particle. So let's add some water. Whatever. Now the garbage sound is gone and it is bubbling. That means, let me just turn it. That means it is trying to put. As you can see. The total space is garbage. I was just loading the pump.
Now we have to fix the valve tip. So let's stop the pump. Just put this thing below. So here is the new set of valves and rubbers. As you can see, here are the new sets. These are the two rubbers that is provided with the new valve. And this is a Crompton original valve. I just uh, thrown the packaging in the service center because just to verify it whether it is uh, working or not. So accidentally I just threw the packaging. So it is an OEM product. So I think this, uh, the, I did a mistake by dipping it in kerosene oil. Kerosene oil expands the, the size of the rubber. So this is not a rubber, this is a plastic. Means this is also a plastic. So whatever my So I have fixed the valve. Uh, as you can see, I fixed the new valve here. Let me just show you. New valve in place. So the pump is running nice. As you can see. So this is the pump. There is a little bit of hardness in the pump. So these are the old rubbers. As you can see, this is uh, this valve is good, but the rubbers are not good. So if you are going to purchase the valve, you will get the rubber mandate in a mandatory basis. Two big hold rubber for the valve and one rubber for the outlet. And these are some local brand spare rubbers just for this outlet. As you can see. So this is the thing. So let's install means let's pump some water through it so let's try the pump it takes time during priming it's running So the water is starting coming out. So let's try. Uh, means now due to the fact that this water <coughs> is uh, falling in the bucket, so what is happening? The air bubbles is uh, boost, means back boosting this pump. And this, I'm holding this pipe. This pipe has been little bit shaking. So let's stop it. Stopping is a mess here because I cannot grab the pipe also. And the switch is also a piece of garbage. So this is the pump. And the pump is falling down. What the joke is this? So this is the discharge to the pump. With air and with bad quality pipe plumbing. Now the pump is turned off with a proper switch. Let's turn it on. Because there is no food valve and the uh, water tightening is also bad. The water is going down the bucket. This is a very bad thing. And it is again taking time for priming. Always use proper suction line uh, tightness. It will take again time. <coughs> because there, due to the suction line is leaky, the water when switching off, there is a valve in the mouth. So the rest of the water from this uh, suction pipe is going down to the bucket. That's a very bad thing. Uh, always use proper uh, seals. So the pump is running. And the priming I think is almost over. Almost over I think. Because the pipe is heavy. So these pumps are very slow in priming water. This is the thing. Means not water priming air out of the system. These pumps are slow as hell. <laughs> Actually, the suction pipe was not fitting nicely in the hole that's why it is not giving good performance so now check this 
instant water came out because the suction line was so much loose that it cannot pump the water successfully. Now this is behaving good. Now I should check the pressure. But before checking the pressure, just put a blockage of hand here and just check the pressure. Before that I should take another bucket of water. Just in case this bucket dries out. So this is the Crompton Grips pump. It is working fine. The pipes are leaking. The motor is running smooth. There is no electricity here. I am not using also an earthed outlet. No worries. So this is the water discharge as you can see. Let's stop and start the pump. So this is the performance. So okay. I'm stopping and starting the pump just to see the performance. So this pump is giving a great performance. Um, the mechanical seal is also not leaking as you can see inside. It's not leaking. Everything is running perfect. Even I, I have lost this washer. But no worries, I have used Teflon tape just to tie this screw. I cannot leave the pump alone because I am in a fear that if the pipe suddenly disconnects, then the full pump will be un in underwater. So now the pump is ready for action. Let's start it. I have to tighten the suction lines. And as you can see the discharge. So the pump is running all right. Since I have used plastic pipes, so the water is dripping through the plastic pipes and not from the pump. As if you watch it here carefully. So it is not the fault of any kind of uh, these rubbers or the pump itself. This is the pipes just leaking and as you can see, the fan is also giving pretty decent amount of air cooling the motor. This, uh, this plastic fans are 100% better than that of the metal fans that is provided with this Crompton pump because metal fans are a piece of junk. They don't uh, throw the air that much that of a plastic fan and plastic fan is safe to use because um, if it breaks you may replace it but metal fans if it catches rust and the blades become garbage then it will hit the back cover and make a horrible noise. So this is the pump. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please place the like button. If you have any comments, then please put a comment below. And if you want to see this kind of videos related to pumps, related to fans and other accessories, then subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching.